Hi, this video is going to be about a basic review on this Saurali branded 12 volt 6AH lithium ferrous phosphate battery. So let us get started with that. So I ordered this battery on Amazon.in and it came for approximately like 1800 rupees. I'll also provide a link to purchase the battery in the description if you're interested. Then it came in this particular box. So just uh, opened the packaging before the video and I got the battery here. Now the battery comes with two wires only, but in order to like make it a little bit more um, uh, like easier to use, I added some extended wires and a switch too. Switch is so that in case these uh, wires uh, short circuit, they should not uh, like create any sparks or uh, short the battery. That's why I have a switch also in between. This battery has its own BMS though. So that is a plus point. Let us see how we can use this battery with some applications. Okay, so now let's just take a measurement of the battery voltage, which so the switch is off. So you may not read any voltage, but once I turn on this particular switch, you can notice that the voltage of the battery is approximately 13.25 uh, volts. That is the uh, voltage, nominal voltage that any lithium ferrous phosphate battery should have. Lead acids will generally have around 12.7 to 12.8 volts, but lithium ferrous phosphates are generally around 13.25 volts on uh, average. Uh, Alright, so in order to include some protective features, I just connected my solar charge controller to this. But let me just set the setting. So if you're ever getting a solar charge controller for your lithium ferrous phosphate battery, ensure that the charge controller has three features, lithium battery, lead acid and lithium ion phosphate. Now LFP, lithium ferrous phosphate batteries need this specific uh, profile, they will not charge in lead acid or lithium profile they are totally different and you need a controller that has this specific one now to set this setting what you need to do is click here battery it shows the voltage then now you see bo1 is there which means by default it's set to lithium press and hold this button so that it starts blinking and now change it to uh, lithium ferrous phosphate BO3 that is okay now that it is set maximum voltage is will be around 14.6 minimum voltage 12.5 and now uh, it's ready to use its settings are done it is now uh, ready to use okay so I just connected some uh, external uh, wires over here. There's a blue positive negative and a red positive wire. I've turned this uh, system and currently load is switched off. So let us connect this particular 12 volt bulb and see I'm basically doing a load test on this. So I will connect the uh, negative to the negative and the positive to the positive to see whether this bulb glow. Okay. So I've connected my charge controller uh, to the battery and the bulb is also connected to the output terminals of the charge controller. So let me just give a switch this on. All right. So you can see that the bulb is glowing with full brightness. And if you want to use this as a solar light or a backup light for your room, you can definitely go ahead and use it. Okay, so now I have this setup connected to my uh, car charger over here, which takes 12 volts and gives out uh, 5 volts. So let me just turn the controller on. Okay, so my car charger has put it currently turned on. And um, if you look at it, like uh, it's giving a voltage of approximately 5 volts and even my power bank has started charging from this particular thing. I'm using a power bank, but you can also recharge your phones with this particular setup. Okay, so I'd like to conclude now by saying that this particular um, lithium ferrous phosphate battery is really useful and I'm happy with the performance so far. I'll also try to give you updates about it in the future videos. 
and um, it is working as per my requirement and also be uploading more videos regarding solar power and how you can use this setup to build a small home lighting system for the uh, for your particular bench top or some basic uh, appliances thank you for watching like comment share and subscribe stay tuned i'll see you in the next video